Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we will talk about the biggest genome ever found on a Pacific island. A fern growing on a remote Pacific island has broken the Guinness World Record for having the largest genome of any organism on Earth. A genome in any organism is the complete set of genetic material present in that organism, including its DNA with a genome measuring a staggering 160 gigabase pairs. The fern surpasses the previous record holder, the Japanese flowering plant Paris Japonica, by 7%. The human genome, with a relatively modest size of approximately 3.1 gigabase pairs, provides a striking contrast to the colossal genomes found in these fern. Human genome, when unraveled, would measure about 6 feet in length. The fern, Timesipteris oblanceolata, has more than 50 times more DNA packed into the nucleus of its cells than humans do. Timesipteris oblanceolata is endemic to New Caledonia, an archipelago that is located in the southwest Pacific Ocean and is known for its rich biodiversity. Scientists revealed in a new study that the DNA from one of the fern cells would stretch out to 350 feet. This means the fern's DNA, when fully extended, would be taller than both the Statue of Liberty and the tower housing London's Big Ben. Ilya Leitch, a researcher at the UK's Royal Botanic Gardens Kew and co-author of the study, expressed the team's astonishment. The team was really surprised to find something even bigger than Paris Japonica. The research team travelled to the island of Grand Terre in 2023. There, the team teamed up with local scientists for the study. Leach explained that having a massive genome is generally a disadvantage. The more DNA you have, the larger your cells need to be to accommodate it all, according to him. Moreover, replicating such a vast amount of DNA is complex. In plants with exceptionally large genomes, this process becomes even more challenging. The sheer volume of genetic material to be copied can lead to longer periods required for growth and reproduction. Leach has shown that there is a correlation between genome size and plant adaptability to environmental stress. Leach pondered the fern's unique adaptation. How does it survive with that much DNA in it? Scientists remained uncertain about the role of much of the DNA in such large genomes, often labeling it as junk DNA. However, Leach suggested that this might be due to our own ignorance, hinting that it could have undiscovered functions. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.